Okay, Mr. Palmer here. Uh, second video in the binary series. Uh, before you watch this one, make sure you go over your notes on binary numbers. Okay, because uh, this one's about binary arithmetic. This time I will remember to say when if your GCSE computer and cut off and uh, stop watching. So, uh, basically, this one's about what are the rules for addition, first of all, and then that's uh, for GCSE. And then for A level, obviously, you need to find out as well how subtract subtraction is carried out. So, three rules for binary addition, or in my case, three and a half. Okay. Uh, first of all, zero and zero gives you a zero. One and zero gives you a one. And then one and one gives you a zero, and you carry one into the next column. Okay. So this is just like when you're doing nine plus one. Okay, it gives you a zero in your units column, and you carry a one over into the tens, into the next, into the following column. All right, same difference. The the half rule basically is that when you're carrying forwards, if you've got a one plus zero, and you've also got a carry on the top, then it's going to be a one plus one plus zero, which is the third rule again. Okay, so if you're looking at that in action, okay, we've got two binary numbers here. We're going to add them up. Zero and zero gives you zero. 1 and 0 gives you a 1, 0 and 1 gives you a 1, 0 and 0 is a 0, 1 and 1 is a 0, carry the 1. Now here we got a 0 and 0 is a 0, plus the carry, and then we got a 1 and a 0. Okay, one more. Again, 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0. 0 carry the 1, and over here we've got a 0 plus a 1 is 1, plus the carry is a 1 plus 1, so 0 carry a 1. Same situation again, you can see we've got a 1 plus 1 gives us 0 carry the 1, and over here we've got a 1 plus 0 plus a 1 gives you a 0 carry the 1. Okay, unfortunately, we've now run out of space in the binary word. Okay, we earned, we had one byte, which is eight bits. Okay, we've got nowhere for the ninth bit to go, so it just gets removed from the calculation. Obviously, then we're going to have some errors cropping up in what we're doing. Okay, this is called an overflow error. If you've got GCSE, if you're GCSE computing, time to stop watching. All right. <clears throat> now, A level subtraction. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, basically, remind yourself about two's complement. Uh, with the two's complement number, all right, uh, we've got 85. This is going to be uh, one plus no twos, one four, no eights, 16, no 32s, 64, and no minus 128. All right, and a minus 20 would be so on and so forth with the negative bit at the front. Okay, now minus 80, oh, sorry, 85 take away 20 is going to be the same as 85 plus minus 20. So basically, when you're using two's complement, there's no need for subtraction. You're just going to do addition all of the time. Okay, that's why two's complement is so useful when you've got that um, uh, negative bit at the front. Okay, so if we want to add them up, we just follow the same rules. One and zero is a one. Zero, zero carry forward the one. So that one and one is zero. Carry the one again. Carry the one again. Carry the one again. So we've got a one here this time because one plus one is zero. Carry the one, but we've got a carry in addition to add as well. It gives me a zero, and my overflow goes out. And we don't worry about that because you'll see if you work that out, all right, those two numbers together 64 plus one is 65, and 85 minus 20 is 65. Okay, so if you want to watch that in action again, 85 minus 90. All right, so instead of doing 85 take away 90, I'm going to do 85 plus minus 90. All right, so you can work out the sum yourself. Zero carry the one, one, and one. Okay, and that, if you work it out, the two's complement, one plus two plus eight plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 is 123 minus 128 for the uh, negative bit at the front gives you minus 5, which is the same as 85 minus 90. All right, so <clears throat> subtraction is quite easy to do as well, yeah, using two's complement. 
So basically, what are the rules for addition? 0 plus 0 is a 0, 1 plus 0 is a 1, and 1 plus 1 is a 0 carried a 1. And how is subtraction carried out? Just use 2's complement and add the numbers together. All right. Thank you very much. And watch out for the one on floating point calculation. Uh, uh, let me say that again. Normalizing floating point numbers coming up.